Captain Mike here from Salty Cape, and I'm super excited to report an awesome day we had on the south side of Cape Cod. Cape Cod Bay has been getting a lot of coverage with lots of fish keyed in on sand eels pretty much all over, but I haven't noticed much online for the south side. So today was uh, a beautiful day and we played hooky and we hit pretty much every spot we could um, and getting back at a reasonable time. We started in Woods Hole about 6 a.m. and uh, we had follows on the first cast, fish on the third cast, excellent topwater action. Shortly thereafter, we headed to Halfway Shoal, which has been pretty good uh, the past few days. We got there at slack tide, unfortunately, uh, so we didn't stay around too long, though in the process, we noticed the bottom was literally paved with sea bass, caught a couple nice sea bass, picked up and shot over to Waski. I haven't seen much for Waski. There's fish in all the rips at Waski. We started at Waski Point in the real shallow rips on weedless, light lead core trolling. We caught a couple of nice 26 to 28 inch class fish. Uh, we slid down towards Muskeka Channel. Same deal, plenty of fish there. And then we shot a little further east to Mutton Shoal, plenty of fish there. Waski has fish pretty much in all the rips and uh, it's just awesome to see all the life. Then we made the push west. We ran all the way over to Squib Nocket and uh, we literally marked fish before we were fully off plane on the fish finder. So we put out a lead core trolling outfit and trolled the pro tails to cover as much structure as we can. We were marking fish all over and catching plenty of, again, 26 to 28 inch class fish. So there is plenty of reasons to go to Squip Nocket. We then headed around Gay Head and pushed our way all the way up Vineyard Town. Saw pods of birds, uh, what appeared to be keyed in on juvenile herring. That was great to see. There's fish in Quick's Hole, Robinson's Hole. Uh, we filmed the shoot last Thursday at Middle Ground, so we know Middle Ground's hot and heavy. And um, obviously we know Woods Hole is hot because that's where we started the day and that's where we finished the day. So if your boat's not ready, your gear's not ready, get them ready because it's, uh, it's go time on Cape Cod.